Hi, this is Richard Schiff. Um, how are you? I'm an actor. Uh, you might know me from shows like The West Wing or um, The Good Doctor or movies like The Lost World or Superman or a bunch of other stuff. Um, I'm trying to grab a seat here. Um, so I've been asked by, um, by uh, the Australian Disability Organization um, uh, to say a few things about this, 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 this group, this, this organization, which to me, from what I can tell, uh, is doing absolutely phenomenal uh, work. Um, this is what I know, founded in 2012 on the principle that discrimination and stigma, uh, but also the culture towards disability have to change in order to reshape uh, be reshaped and owned by people living with daily effects, positive and negative, of disability. And only through authentic conversation about disability uh, is it possible to create a dialogue to enable the creation of change against the backdrop of discrimination and intolerance. So these are the aims and the purposes. To support the development of new technologies uh, that improve the quality of life and independence of persons living with a disability, <clears throat> Two, to provide persons with a disability with a forum through which they can express their views on government and policies and other matters of rev relevance to their disability. To support and enable fair and unbiased media representation of disabil disability related issues through the development of news and original content to provide community-wide education on disability-related issues so as to reduce the instances of discrimination suffered by persons with a disability, to establish an online community that encourages greater interaction between disabled and able-bodied people to promote the concept of disability as a strong, healthy form of identity. Um, I think one of the reasons why I was asked to do this um, to speak on behalf of Australian Disability uh, is a TV show that I'm, I'm doing right now called The Good Doctor. Um, on it, I play the mentor and guardian of uh, a young man who is autistic <clears throat> and who shows talent um, to learn how to be a surgeon. And I, uh, the doctor, Dr. Glassman, uh, promote his career um, uh, and um, look, and he looks after him, uh, and educates him, helps to educate him, I should say, uh, and um, takes him in, and uh, guides him towards becoming a very successful uh, surgeon uh, in a hospital in in, uh, in California. That's the premise of the show, and um, I am a father of an autistic child, uh, so I was attracted to this show. Uh, partly because um, I have learned a lot about uh, how difficult it is uh, for people of autism and um, people who are uh, challenged generally, people who are disenfranchised because of their uh, physical uh, or mental capabilities. Um, uh, and, <clears throat> uh, and so I, I, I discovered along the way um, uh, we've been doing the show for four years, how inspiring we were because we were showing how clearly capable um, a person uh, with autism is uh, and, and how brilliant he can be. Um, and so uh, I got letters and I got um, uh, pieces of art and paintings and drawings and poems and some music from uh, people with autism and other challenges uh, from around the world thanking me and thanking us uh, uh, for our portrayal uh, of this story, our depiction of this story. Uh, so I got a very good sense, other than my own son, uh, how, how difficult it is um, uh, for people uh, with disabilities, but also how challenging it is to get, uh, to become a part, a functioning part and a valid part of society. I've always known it, of course. Um, I've actually been involved uh, with autism and other uh, uh, disabilities um, for quite a while before my son was even born. Um, so I was quite aware of, <clears throat> of, of all the issues involved. And I think we've come some way. 
Um, certainly, uh, uh, there's much better access than there was when I was a kid for buses and for transportation and for buildings and so on. Um, and there's uh, quite a few more opportunities. But listen, autism, people with autism have a 10% employment rate. 90% of people with autism cannot get a job. That is despicable. Um, and it's just plain wrong. And um, uh, because autism has had a spotlight more recently, um, and the people who have become famous have been said to be on the spectrum, like Elon Musk and, and, a, and a few others, uh, it's, it seems to be becoming more acceptable. But that, mean, that just doesn't mean that the work for the rest of, of, uh, of the community uh, is in any way, shape, or form uh, on the right path enough. So I, I recommend completely um, from what I understand of Australian Disability Limited, that people look into it, um, look at what they do, uh, access their, their, their services. They have a podcast that's quite wonderful. I've listened to a few of them. Um, uh, uh, and they can help you, those people in Australia, to uh, try to find a way to uh, uh, gain access um, uh, to jobs and to, uh, and, to, and to participation in community and government uh, and policy and so on and so forth. So congratulations uh, to all the fantastic work that, that you guys are doing. Um, uh, a lot of love coming from here and a lot of respect uh, to devote your lives uh, to this kind of work. And um, let me know if you need any other help because I'm there to help. And, uh, and keep on doing the great work. Okay, and tell all the people who see this to donate because uh, everybody needs funding and uh, the more funding you have, the more, um, uh, the better uh, work you can do for people. So there you have it. Take care from here. Lots of love, lots of respect. Okay, bye.